My music involves two submissions, one to your Cyber Cafe discussion group and two, the actual paragraph that you will be writing. This assignment is another critical thinking assignment where instead of simply describing what a song is about, you will choose your favorite song and describe how that relates to you. How do you feel about that? So that takes it to a deeper level. Now let's look at the instructions together so that we make sure these are done correctly. Over the years, a high percentage of students submit this correctly. In other cases, it can be messy. So let's go through it and make sure that we do it correctly the first time. Do you ever get intimidated by assignments? I do. Sometimes I open things and my eyes start darting all over the page. I can't figure out what in the world they're talking about. So let's go through this together. This is the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so you're going to write one fully developed paragraph. You're going to underline the thesis statement. You're going to include a works cited reference. And you're going to include two images. So that's what the assignment consists of. Now, we're going to read these step-by-step -step instructions. First, think about your favorite genre of music, classical jazz, Broadway, tap, whatever you like. Go to YouTube and find a performance of your favorite song within that genre. Okay, so I have a couple of examples. You know how YouTube is. Sometimes they'll block things. They won't let you go to say. If, they, if it doesn't work, simply go to YouTube, type in Richie Haven's Freedom, and watch it there. I'm sorry if you have to do that, but... I don't, sometimes YouTube is just goofy. Okay, so now after you've picked your song and you found it on YouTube, it's time to go to that discussion board and click on the My Music thread and let's go look at that. I went over to YouTube and found a song that I wanted to write about and it's called Everything's Coming Our Way by Santana. And unfortunately, I could not find a live performance of that song, so I had to go with the next best thing. What I'd like for you to do, because you'll be sharing this with your fellow classmates, is, you know, if you can find a song that was actually performed, that's best. If you can't, do the best you can. That's not the important thing. The most important thing is understanding what the song means to you. I'm going to share this, and I'm going to take this little link, and I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go over to the discussion board in the classroom. I clicked discussions and I scrolled over to this discussion for my music and there are instructions there in another tutorial and then I want to come down here and I'm going to post my song and a little bit about it for my fellow classmates and what I'm going to do here is okay so I wrote a little text oops Glad to look it over with you. And I don't like the way they spend favorite. You don't, we're not in England anyway. So it's now time to embed that video. And I do that by coming up here, insert media. And I'm just going to put the URL that I just copied right there and hope to goodness that it comes up. And it does. Some of them don't. And if they don't, then you'll want to go back and get another one and go ahead and just center it because that's just how I am and there I go that's all I have to do so step one is done now let's go to the next thing that we got to do let's go back to the assignment okay I did that on day one and then during this week and this is time sensitive so I've got to make sure I do this all at the right time I'm going to go back to my cyber cafe and reply to all of my students okay Next, what do we do? <laughs> Meanwhile, you'll still work on developing a paragraph. I'm going to write one paragraph that includes the following. The lyrics of the song, an underlined thesis sentence. You can do that, two references. Explain in one or two sentences how these lyrics speak to you. Interview one friend or relative or professional by phone or in person. Not by text or by email. Ask that person why he or she agrees that the song is relevant. Make sure that they give you permission to use their quote, and you're going to use that in your paragraph. And then in the paragraph with a statement that summarizes the points you just made. Include at least one image of the artist performing this song. Include quotes from the article. And do not use Wikipedia or Yahoo Answers. Always go to the official website. 
Now read your paragraph out loud, edit as necessary. When you create your work cited on easybib.com, okay, this easybib.com, you remember that there were those tutorials in the first modules of the course, but let's go ahead and do it here together. Let's go over to easybib. I logged in, and again, you can find those instructions in those first modules of the course. Created a project, yay! So now, every when I open this, all of the citations will go to the correct folder, my music. And I first have to get the lyrics, don't I? So let's go get the lyrics. Here are my lyrics. And I'm going to copy this URL, copy. Go over to my EasyBib project, create a new citation, website. And paste and hope that it finds it. It did. Continue. Well, it didn't find much, did it? I got to fill in these boxes. I'll be right back. So I filled in the little orange boxes. There's the title. It's by Carlos Santana. And where it was the website title, lyrics. And not, it doesn't want the day that it was written. It wants to know when it was, when I saw the publication online 2020. I'm not going to put the rest of it in. And I'm going to go down here. Now that I filled in the little boxes, I'm going to update the citation. And there it is. All ready to go. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so I don't have to think about that anymore, but I do need to go back and get the lyrics. Now this is important and it's going to be important for you too. Notice that in this lyrics uh, quote, everything is coming our way is repeated over and over and over, right? So I don't need to put all of these repetitions in my essay. I just need to put, this, this is the first time it's done. That's all I'm going to need. Do you see that? Because all of this is just redundant and repeated over and over and over. And then, of course, when I put that in my essay, I'll show where it came from, the lyrics. Okay? Now let's go back to the assignment sheet. We have that done. Okay, here's my paragraph and my title image. And there's the, the lyrics. And they are pared down to where it's not the repeated verses over and over again. And then now's my paragraph. It is difficult to pin Carlos Santana to a specific generation. The official website for Santana labels his music as groundbreaking Afro-Latin blues rock fusion. To me, his sound and genius defy a category. Among the most, whoops, see this is why I'm reading it out loud. Meaningful of his incredible songs, everything is coming our way, has always been my favorite, my favorite song. Because the lyrics because the lyrics speak to the timeless hope of all generations. In one verse, Santana sings, and remember I'm still in the same paragraph. This is rather than the same seat. Back to the margin. Those words can those years can vibe unity with acceptance and equality. On a level beyond the actual lyrics is the musicality of Santana. It's brilliant guitar craftsmanship. When he plays this song, he creates some beautiful high notes. And that's a quote from Heath from his original thing. The sound incredibly coupled with uplifting music made me feel virtual, young and vital. Carlos Santana remains in a category all his own. As Jefferson Alvarez, official fan club president, agrees, Santana is a spokesman for the, a, the young and all of us. Okay, now I have to add the picture of them, of him performing this song. And because it's timeless, and that's one of the things that I'm saying, all generations, all time. I'm going to pick, put in a picture of him performing this today. Let's see what happens when I paste this in there, if it all goes cattywampus. Okay, it kind of does. Okay, we don't want that to... Okay, what about right there. Can these guys go over just a little bit? No. Oh, I am sure that you all do this so much better than I do. I don't know how I managed to get a space there. I went to layout up here and layout had all those different things and I just turned all down to zero and somehow, I don't know, I'm just, I just click buttons and hope for the best. You all probably are so much better at this than I am, but there you go.
So now we have a lovely paragraph. See, it doesn't need to be a million words long to fulfill the assignment. It's a researched essay, I mean, little paragraph, which is a good starting place for us. Okay, so let's just line this up a little bit now that I'm feeling all. Okay, good. Now let's go back to Easy Bips so we can add our little work cited. I had that interview on the phone with Jessica Alvarez, and I'm going to cite that. And under More are all kinds of different ways to cite sources. And we're going to go down to Interview. See how fun this is? Interview. Okay, and I'm going to fill in these boxes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I filled in this the boxes. It's a personal interview, and the interview title is Santana Fan Club President. This is when I conducted the interview by phone. And I am the interviewer, but I also want to credit the interviewee. Who was the interviewee? That's right, Jessica Alvarez. And I complete the citation. There. And it adds that to the list. Now I'm going to get the official website for Santana. Here it is. Copy that. Go over my easy bib up here. Create a citation website. And remember, I'm only going to use official websites because we know what can happen on any of those changeable websites like Wikipedia. Okay, well, thank you so much for doing nothing. I got to fill in these boxes. I'll be right back. Now, EasyBib just asked for the date of the site, so we're just going to put it down here 2020. That's all we know. We don't know anything else. If it was a different date, it would have been down at the bottom of that page. So we're going to complete the citation. And there it is. I have that little Heath quote in my essay. So this is the citation for that, where that came from. Complete the citation. And that's all the citations. So we're now going to export always to a Word doc. And it's going to open up down in this little tray. I'm going to open it and give it a chance to create that Word document. Okay, and there it is. All right, we're going to enable editing. Just always, just as a matter of, okay, so now we've enabled editing. And I do that to make sure that nothing is in all caps other than perhaps something in the URL, and that I can't mess with, but this should all be in uh, uppercase here and then the rest. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going back over to my paragraph. And it pops in right here. And there it is. So there's my paragraph. And that's how I do this. And then I proofread it, save it as a PDF, and, and submit it. See? Don't make it harder than it, than it is. It's not that difficult to do. It just takes a little bit of time to make sure that you get everything compact and done correctly. That concludes this tutorial on my music.